In chapter 47 of David Copperfield, Mr. Peggotty and David follow Martha Endel to a dumping area near the Thames River. She stops on the riverbank and looks at the water, talking to herself in a frenzy of fear and despair. When she calms down, she expresses her concern and love for Emily, who was so kind to her. Mr. Peggotty convinces Martha to help find Emily. David arrives home near midnight and his aunt's cottage door is open. The shabby man he'd seen with her before is in the garden. Miss Betsy comes outside, gives the man some money and tells him to go, reminding him he'd been false and cruel to her. As the man leaves, David rushes to Miss Betsy, who tells David the man is her husband. She had left him long ago and told everyone he was dead. They married young, but he treated her badly, so she left him. Every so often, he slinks back, so she gives him some money to go away. In chapter 48 of David Copperfield, about a year and a half after his marriage, David is a successful author and has left his reporting job. He and Dora are still struggling with managing their household. He tries to educate Dora on serious subjects, but he realizes Dora's mind is already formed. Uh. David recognizes that although he's happy, his marriage lacks depth because he can't share many of his thoughts and ideas with his partner. David hopes the birth of their baby will change his child wife to a woman. But the baby dies soon after birth, and Dora's health also begins to decline. In Chapter 49 of David Copperfield, Mr. Micawber writes to David, indicating he's very disturbed about something and would like to meet with David and Traddles in two days. When they meet, David asks how Mr. Heap is. Micawber rants <clears throat> against the man, calling him diabolical. Micawber continues to behave erratically after meeting Miss Betsy and Mr. Dick, torn about revealing a secret he knows, eventually bursting out, deception, fraud, conspiracy are the matter. And the name of the whole atrocious mass is Heap. Soon after, a letter arrives from him, apologizing for his behavior, asking them to meet him in a week at the hotel in Canterbury. In chapter 50 of David Copperfield, a few days after the incident with Mr. Micawber, Martha approaches David and says she left a note for Mr. Peggotty telling him where to meet them, but she needs David to come with her at once. They take a cab to Golden Square, a rundown neighborhood, and Martha leads David to an old house and in it to a place where they can observe Martha's room through a partially open door. Emily is in the room, and Miss Dartle is insulting and threatening her while Emily tearfully pleads for mercy and compassion. Miss Dartle finally leaves, passing Mr. Peggotty on the stairs. Finally reunited with his niece, Mr. Peggotty carries Emily off.